So for about two months now, I've been testing a machine for a company who a lot of you guys probably can figure out who they are. Um, it's a company that has always stood behind me on everything and really taken care of me. And, and um, you know, I, I'm a true believer in their products and what they're doing. But, uh, you know, basically they reached out. They asked, hey, you know, if we send you a machine um, that we're developing, would you be willing to basically set it up in your shop, use it every day, put it through its paces and, you know, beat on it and see how it performs. And, uh, that's what I've been doing. Um, if a lot of you guys has followed me since the beginning, you can probably figure out, um, who that brand is. It's a brand that, you know, I've always stuck beside, but, you know, I've used, um, pretty much every brand machine you can buy probably in the States now. Um, and everything from, you know, red, blue, green, whatever, um, I've ran them. And when I got this machine, got it set up, started playing with it, I was just, I was so impressed with how it was set up, how simple it was to operate, um, and the amount of features that are on it just blew my mind. And I was super excited when I realized that it had adjustable amplitude. And I started to um, really, like, think about how that could make what I do better. And I started reading into adjustable amplitude and how it works and, you know, basically the theory behind what it's doing. And, and it, you know, I just started playing with it. And I, I realized really quickly, um, you know, the kind of what I do here is more, you know, favored towards uh, motorsport stuff to where people want the welds to look cosmetically really nice. Um, you know, it, they want the welds to look good. Uh, that, you know, that's what they care about more than actually how good they are. And I've always thought that was strange from me coming out of the piping industry, but um, that's kind of what it what it's all about. So when I got this, I started really playing, you know, with it. And I realized the benefits to using adjustable amplitude. And I thought, man, this is just so cool because, you know, in the past, you'd have, a, I'd had a machine that had a frequency adjustment and a balance adjustment you get it to where it was set good and you know, your etch lines, your etch zone, um, is what it is. Um, you know, you get your gas just tuned in just right and you know, get your nice small cup on there, five or a six and you'd weld and you know, whatever the etch zone was is what you were getting. And you know, it is what it is. I just always dealt with it. But when I got this and started playing with it, I was like, wow, this is so cool how you can control your etch zones your tungsten erosion, just everything. And I thought I'd throw this video together today and kind of show you guys my understanding of it. Um, I'm not saying I'm 100% right here because I'm probably not. You know, I'm still learning this. But I thought I'd throw a video together just kind of showing what it does and how it works from my uh, understanding of it. So basically, I, what I've done here is I've just drawn a basic square wave um, that everybody's familiar with. Get your negative and your positive side on the waveform. Everybody knows that the negative side is the penetration side and the positive side is the cleaning side. So the way I've drawn this, and it's not to scale, but we got the machine set at 30% um, balance, electrode positive. And um, just a, you know, we're just, I just got a hundred amps on here to make the math simple. But so you got a hundred amps on the negative side and a hundred amps on the positive side at all times. Your balance is just basically adjusting how long it's on that positive side um, and the negative side. So you got 70% on the negative, 30% on a positive. Hit a 70-30 um, balance. So um, what amplitude is, is amplitude is the current or the amperage on that side. So basically uh, some machines are independent amplitude where you can adjust both of these um, or like, so the way this machine set up is based off of a percentage of what you want to pull from where or where you want to put it. So if you want to put, um, you know, 30% more into the negative side, or if you want to put 30% less or, you know, basically whatever you want to do, you can do. It's just based off of a percentage off positive or negative. So all this really happening is, um, is, and I thought it was very confusing, but it's really not. So say we're running 100 amps on the machine. We got 100 amps going into the workpiece on the negative side. 
and we got 100 amps going in to the workpiece on the cleaning side, into the tungsten, I should say. When you go 30% off of your positive side, all you're doing is dropping the current on the cleaning side, which, you know, doesn't sound like that big a deal, but it really is because it's saving your tungsten um, and it's really shortening up that etch zone. And basically that's all I can really see the benefit to me is, is, you know, the tungsten's looking perfect, the whole, like you could weld all day and the tungsten looks perfect. Um, and the etch, and the etch zone's getting smaller. And you can really dial that etch zone in to where, you know, it's just right outside your weld. Um, you don't have a huge cleaning area that looks, you know, in my opinion, kind of crappy when, um, you know, you got a one inch cleaning area and then a half inch weld. But, uh, you know, that's, that's basically my understanding of it. I could be totally wrong. I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, but from my understanding, all you're doing is pulling the amperage off of one side or the other, or, you know, vice versa. So I thought what, I, what we'd do here is we'd tack up some coupons, clean them up real good. We'd leave the machine set at 30% electrode positive balance, and we'd run a pass. We'd see what it looks like. And then we'd do another pass, um, with the amplitude on pulling off the positive side and see what it looks like and then just kind of play with it. Um, you know, maybe do one off the negative side and see the effects of that. Um, since we got a machine we can do that with, we're, we're going to try it. Um, I'd love to show you guys a machine. I can't yet. Um, I'm really excited once he does release these machines to be able to like do a full video on it, really show you guys all the features on the machine and what it does. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to tack these up, clean them real nice, and uh, we'll, we'll make some welds. So right now we got the machine set up. Um, we're running about 150 amps. The balance is at 30%, electrode positive. Um, amplitude's off, uh, like 100, 120 on a frequency. And we're going we're gonna to make a weld here and we're gonna see, you know, what it looks like. So that welded pretty good. Um, you can kind of see, it might be hard to see in the camera, but you can see the etch line. They're about out here. Um, we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna spin this piece. We're gonna go ahead and, and favor the amplitude towards the negative side. So we get more cleaning and we're gonna really see an effect with that here. So as you guys can see there, the etch lines got bigger. It didn't weld as good. The, the puddle almost has like a whitish look to it. Um, and you can tell that the tungsten's wanting to ball up on me. It's wanting to fight me. Um, and it just doesn't, doesn't act as good. What we'll do now is go ahead here and we're gonna get, pull 30% off the positive side. Um, and we're gonna make a pass here and see what that looks like.
you guys can see there we got a real nice tight etch line it's, it's like almost perfectly straight um, it, it welded really good it almost does seem and I, and I don't know this if somebody knows they could tell me um, but it almost seems that it, it welds better like it it's just a crisper arc I mean you can see the difference here in these two beads from here to here how much whiter this is how big this etch line is I mean we're looking at a good three sixteenths of an inch versus about a sixteenth so now on this one here, I'm going to take the amplitude up even more so you guys can see what it does. We're going to bump it up to like 40, 45%. And you'll see how when I weld this, there'll be like no cleaning at all. Still got the smallest little bit of an etch line, but it's not much. And it doesn't seem to want to weld as good. Um, but as, you, as you can see there, I mean, it's not as shiny as these welds are, but it kind of shows you, you know, an example of it. I'm going to go ahead here and take some more uh, coupons I got cut, tack them up. We're going to kind of do the same thing and see, see if we can even see it better on something that wasn't really cleaned much. All right, we got the amplitude turned off. There, you can see it a lot better on a piece that's not been wire brushed. Um, if you guys can see how far out that etch line is, that's a good 3 16 Now we'll do another one here. Tack it up and we'll turn the amplitude back to 30% and see what it looks like. Kind of hard to tell by the video, but you can kind of see the difference there. How big that one is. Versus that one there. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if anybody, you know, knows more about it than me, please, you know, comment, whatever. But uh, I'm kind of figuring out all the advantages to it. And it just seems like, you know... It can be a huge help if you're doing, you know, real fine stuff or, like I said, something that you need a real tight etch zone. You just want it to look real good. And I'm still learning it. I mean, I'm not, I haven't totally perfected it yet. But, you know, kind of sums it up. Um, something I wanted to say, if anybody has any good ideas for some videos I can do, uh, I'm going to have a few weeks here where I can make some videos and I don't have... A uh, ton of projects going on, so I was going to kind of go through and maybe do some things. Um, one of the things I kind of 
wanted to do was a little bit of like mixed AC DC um, welding um, on some like thicker aluminum kind of showing the benefits of that um, how a lot of these newer machines have a mixed AC DC where they're uh, putting AC or putting DC in while you're welding on the AC uh, waveform to kind of get you some more penetration um, if that's something people would like to see I'd like to do video on that um, but yeah I mean, if anybody can think of anything, please comment and let me know. Uh, be willing to do whatever for you guys. And thought that uh, that'd be a good video to throw together, just kind of showing the differences there on the adjustable amplitude. And I hope everybody has a great, great weekend. Like and subscribe.